My name is Virtue Irizondo. Welcome to another episode of Uncolored Remark on Tav TV, where we bring to you top trending gist and entertainment that you don't want to miss. So on today's episode of Uncolored Remark, we are going to be talking about Pastor Paul Eneche and his church member that allegedly gave a fake testimony. So you're going to love this one. Stay tuned and don't go anywhere while we go on a quick break and we'll be right back. Welcome back. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more entertaining videos like this one. So, like I said earlier, we are going to be talking about Pastor Paul Eneche of Dunamis Church and his church member that came to give testimony. A lady came out, her name is Vera. I, I am Vera. So she came to give a testimony. She was a little bit, you could tell that she wasn't very confident. Probably she was shy, stage fright and all of that. You know, it's not easy to come and talk in front of multitude of people. So she came out and she said that she, she wants to thank God that it wasn't easy for her. But now she is the first graduate in her family. You know, that is a very, very big testimony. Imagine somebody being the first graduate in your family as in nobody for your family don't go to school except you. So it's enough to give testimony, Abby. So she came out and she was telling her, saying that people should thank God and all of that. But then, as she was about to conclude, Pastor Paul Eneche interrupted her and asked her what degree did she get. She said law degree, according to her. So Pastor Paul Eneche now asked her what kind of law degree, you know, what kind of law degree. So she started stammering and, you know, she couldn't, she couldn't talk. Pastor Paul Eneche now insisted that they should give her the microphone so everyone could hear what she was saying. So as they gave her the microphone and I, the woman, come talk, say she studied BSc, as in, as in her degree is BSc in law. So Pastor Paul Eneche got irritated and confused and I was like, uh -uh, BSc in law, there's nothing like BSc in law. Like, that does not exist. So, your testimony is a lie. And he told the woman, please get back to your seat. So, after she got back to her seat, it did not end there. He still came out and said that what kind of lawyer speaks that kind of English? He said that. And he also said that you don't have to come and lie to give testimony. That if you're coming on the altar of God to lie, this and that, that, you know, whatever consequences you may face, it's on you, all the stuff and stuff like that. So it didn't sit well with a lot of people, though. even though that her, her testimony is quite questionable, because how can you be a lawyer? Well, yes, we expect that as a lawyer, you should be able to have good command of English language, right? But this woman was speaking like, like a GSS3 student could act, can actually speak better than this woman. So, and she was speaking like she wasn't confident at all with, of what she was saying. So yes, we know her testimony is questionable, but people were like, it wasn't necessary for him to have embarrassed her that way. A lot of people have been saying, why would he just tell her to go back to her seat like that and tell her that her testimony is a lie just like that without actually confirming that he wasn't sure. Why some other people were saying that public rebuke is the best. And the fact that he rebuked her public is better so that everybody can know that everybody can learn lessons that it's not good to come out and give a fake testimony so the woman shamelessly in quote walked back to her seat you could tell that she was so embarrassed like if it were to be me eh, i'll pray for the floor to divide let me fall inside at once because how so like how she walked back to her seat sincerely if it were to be me eh, at that moment i'll forget how to walk because the embarrassment Try to gather yourself, first of all, to come in front of multitude of people to talk. Trying to comport yourself is already a lot of work. Then imagine that level of embarrassment and they had to walk you back to your seat. I will not attend that church again. Like, I will be gone forever. So, now, a few hours later, okay, a few hours after the whole drama and everything, after people kept roasting her on social media, and like, well, why would you lie? Evidence now came out on social media, receipts and everything to show that, that she actually studied law in the in National Open University. And that is just that she struggled to go to school. It wasn't easy for her due to financial struggles and so many other things. So obviously she did not know the name of her degree. The thing is that it's very, very possible. Like, Personally, I know people that don't even know the name, the name of their degree. They don't even know what they studied. Like, if you ask someone, what did you, what did you study? The person will have to take time to answer you. Like, I see the person wants to remember what it was that he or she studied. Unfortunately, I know it's really, really sad, but that's how the Nigerian education system is currently. There are people that are in the university. They don't know how to speak proper English. They don't know how to construct. Okay, even if it's not English, they don't even know how to compose and comport themselves enough to construct a proper sentence that somebody is going to understand. 
like these days children in kindergarten can even speak better than most people that call themselves graduates in nigeria today so it is not i know it's kind of absurd it's strange but it's not impossible it happens there are people that don't know their degree they don't know what they studied what they know is that they went to school some went through the back door some decided to sort courses and sort courses and they came out as long as they have that certificate and they wear that robe that they are graduates so my only point is you know you have to it's all about winning souls right christianity is winning souls is, is part of christianity now after disgracing and rebuking that woman like that i don't think that woman will ever want to come back to church again let us take it that she was lying i don't think that that woman is ever going to want to come back to that church again so you have lost a soul let us put it that way i'm not invalidating what paul and Eche did though he had his reasons i know it can be really really annoying if someone is telling you something and it feels like a total lie and then saying it like that as a testimony to the glory of god when you know it's a lie it can be really really annoying and he probably felt that the best thing to do was to rebuke her publicly paul and Eche is not he's not god he's a human being so he's he, it's, it's possible for him to make mistakes or make assumptions it's not impossible that doesn't make him a bad person or a bad pastor that doesn't stop him from being a man of god just because he tried to rebuke someone openly because uh, it's questionable now you're a lawyer you cannot speak english and they ask you what degree what law degree do you study you said bsc in law and most of us know that there's no such thing as that okay so these are my thoughts my dear viewers let me know your thoughts in the comment section and please don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the notification bell for more entertaining videos like this bye and i'll see you in my next video